y'all. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, with Vlogtober. What is today? Today is the 24th, so it is Vlogtober Day 24. And what brings us today is perhaps some resolution to some car drama. Hmm. This is the fuse box out of my car, of the internal fuse box that, that resides underneath the dashboard. This is the thing that we could not get out. Thanks to Sean, who you have seen in some of the uh, Snacks Around the World series and stuff. He was able to get it out um, and keep me from setting the thing on fire. So, yes, we are very thankful for that. He was able to get down there and somehow maneuver a screwdriver in and blink a blank a blink and it came out. So, yes, can you see what's wrong with this one? This one right here is burnt. Yep, that's the one that's for the brake lights. And if it's burnt up, yeah, I don't have brake lights. So they are actually working on this right now. We got a whole new fuse box and new fuses are being put into it. And um, they need this for a reference. So someone will come and get this shortly. So yes, I will have a, an operational vehicle sometime soon. Yay! Um, as far as the rest of the things, you may have seen my community post where I showed a picture of an enormous margarita. My friend Katie had a birthday and um, we all got to go celebrate. I was amongst people. What? And uh, yeah, there were about 20 of us in this group. And, you know, these are folks that I do not mind being around in a social setting because I know that everybody is vaxxed in this group. We just don't get together much because geographically we're kind of spread apart. Um, yeah, if you were to go from the furthest person in one direction's house to the furthest person in the other direction's house, it would take you about four hours to get there. So yeah, we are pretty spread apart, but it was good to see everybody again. A lot of these folks are people that I've worked with in the past. So absolutely a blast. Um, and don't worry, that margarita was not that strong and I was not driving. So whenever I go someplace and I have a beverage with alcohol in it, there is no driving on my part because if I find out that you're drinking and driving, I will kick your butt personally, okay? That's just how I feel about it. Anyhow, let's look at some crochet stuff. This is for my pick and mix cow. I have already sent the picture to Lisa for this week's. I have got this week's stitch, which is the linen stitch. And that is in, I believe it was color number three. I have that in the other room, but that's what I did this week. I have not put on the next part of my quote main color yet, which is the latte stripes. So I will do two rows of that at some point in the next day or two. So that's a thing and it's looking really good. I kind of like this. It's got some nice texture to it. The colors are nice. It's very neutral. This is going to look really nice in the back of my recliner in the living room. That, that's what it's going to end up being for. So yeah, that's why it's not terribly long. I started with only 150 stitches on mine because I didn't want it to be a humongo blanket. Besides that, I wouldn't be able to keep up. Yeah. Now, as far as my spiderweb blanket, which is only named such because we've got the spiderweb square in the middle that a bunch of folks did. Some folks didn't do that. They went another way, which is awesome. Lots of different ways to do this. But every day I have challenged myself to put on not just a little scrap ball a day, but I'm making sure to do an entire round a day. And if you say, wait, there's way more than 24 rounds there, you're right. Because at the beginning when the rounds were really small, I said, you know what, I'm gonna do two or three or four just, just to make it boost up. Cause look at how big this sucker is getting now. It is so colorful and I, it makes me happy to look at. Wow, that takes up the whole screen and it's not even all there. So yeah, <laughs> today I put on purple. This is big twist uh, value purple. That's what that is. So, and I've even uh, woven in all of my ends to date. I've been trying to do it every couple of days or so, so that I don't have like 8 million ends at the end and they never get done. Cause I know myself. Yeah. So yeah, every couple of days I go in and weave in ends and weave in ends. And also something else I'm doing, I don't always start on the same corner. So I'm not going to have one lumpy corner. I do start on a corner. Like when I start this for the next round, let's say if I do it right here, I will start here halfway through this corner and then when I finally get all the way around I'll finish the corner and that's what I'm doing with it so it works for me hopefully you are enjoying this if you didn't take part this year do it next year because we are already planning on doing crochet over 2022 because this has been a lot of fun 
Now, I haven't done all the crazy creative things that Neva and Ashley have done because they are awesome, but I've had fun doing it anyway. I've had fun challenging myself to get a video out there every single day. Now, what's coming up? There will be a giveaway video. Later on today, I'll be making that and getting it posted because I do have that 500 uh, milestone that I want to do a big giveaway for. I just have been crazy with things and cars and birthdays and all that stuff. So that will go out um, sometime today. Be sure and check it out. There's going to be some interesting things you have to do to enter. Not difficult. Most of you that watch me all the time and comment and stuff, you're already doing the thing. So no worries there. Okay. And it will be international. Yes, I know shipping is a bear. Yes, I've planned for that. Just in case somebody with an overseas address wins. Yeah, I want to include all of my Yarny friends. It's for everybody. All right. Uh, also coming up, I have a new crochet world that I want to flip through. I've also got a new All Recipes magazine. I have not opened them yet. I'm chopping at the bit. And, and also I haven't had time. But they came in the mail yesterday, I think. Or maybe the day before. But I'm going to look at those. We'll do walkthroughs on those. So you can get a, you know, kind of a look at them and see what you think. Uh, also, there are tutorials coming up. We have started the Towel Topper series. So be sure and check that out. And also, just thanks. Thank you for making this so much fun for me. I would love it if you uh, left a comment. Um, I try to reply to all comments. Sometimes it takes me a day or two, but I get there. You at the very least get a heart on your comment. And sometimes I reply back. And uh, it just, it makes my day when I see that I have comments. It's like, wow, they're talking. Yay. Because there's a lot of fun people in this community and you are part of that. Yeah. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you very, very soon, especially in my next video, in my giveaway video. Bye, y'all.